Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're here for the Drainage District Board of Directors meeting December 15, 2020. And uh, I'm Eddie Cantu, board member with the Hidalgo County Drainage District number one. On March 16, 2020, Governor Abbott, Governor Greg Abbott granted a request by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton to temporarily suspend certain open meeting law requirements to, to the extent necessary to allow telephonic and video conference meeting in response to COVID-19. In accordance with the law, notice of this meeting of the Board of Hidalgo County Drainage District number one has been posted online for at least 72 hours. Although members of the board are not gathered in a central physical location, we do have a quorum in attendance at this meeting by video conference or telephone call. The board is meeting by the use of Zoom software and telephone transmission, which allows two-way communication for members of the public during public comments. This meeting is being broadcast live online. As we would at any in-person meeting, members of the public who have followed the instructions on the meeting notice for registering to speak during the public comment portion will be called at the telephone number they have provided to speak for up to the allotted time. All other meeting procedures will adhere to board adopted procedures to the extent possible. A recording of this meeting is being made and will be available to the public at a later date. We apologize in advance for any unforeseeable difficulties and ask for your patience as we navigate these conditions. The time is now 9, 948 a.m. and we will start this meeting with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Eddie Cantu, Precinct 2. Good morning, Ellie Torres, Precinct 4. We have a quorum. Um, we'll start with a prayer. Mr. Sassine, Mr. Salazar. Yes, sir. Good morning, commissioners. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Father God, again, we give you thanks for another day that you've allowed us to come serve, Lord. We continue to pray for all our leadership. Continue to pray for our judge and our four commissioners that you've appointed, Lord. Continue to provide them with your wisdom, Lord. Continue to provide them with your grace, Lord, as they continue to make the decisions that affect us all, Lord. We continue to lift up all our first responders, Lord, all the hospitals, everything that's going on, Lord, with the COVID pandemic and all the illnesses not associated with COVID, Lord. We, we pray for those doctors and nurses and facilities that are dealing with all that, Lord. And we pray for the families that are dealing with that as well, Lord. We lift up them to you, Lord, and we ask for your healing hand upon them for the judge as well, Lord, found the COVID for our brother Sandalia, Lord. Lift up your hand of, of grace and peace and healing on them, Lord. And for all those that are bound in illnesses, Lord, we pray for them. We also praise you, Lord, for the uh, the uh, the health that has been restored, Lord, through you, Lord. And we, we praise you for... Uh, for what's coming too with the uh, with the uh, uh, the healing of the, the pandemic, Lord, we we lift that up to you, Lord. We continue to ask for your guidance in all that we do, Lord. We continue to ask for that that same guidance for myself and all the leaders of this great county, Lord, that we may continue to work as we're working for you, Lord. Our, your scripture, your word tells us the more we seek you, Lord, when we see you, Lord, we continue to to do that, Lord. And again, we thank you for this day that you allowed us to to serve, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Raul. Um, open forum, do we have anybody signed up under drainage district? Uh, no, sir, not for drainage. Raul, consent agenda? Yes, sir, consent agenda, just to prove the check register, some budget transfer, discharge permit, and uh, payments have been reviewed by staff. Uh, everything's in order, sir, we recommend approval. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion, please. Thank you. Item uh, 5A, requesting approval in local agreement by and between Dow County Drainage and one Dow County to make materials available to the other on an as-needed basis. It has been reviewed by legal that allows us to provide services to each other. I'll move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, item B1, request and approve to submit a rental agreement as required by vendor Hold Texas Limited for a 326 FL LFR hydraulic excavator loaner at no cost, Dow County Drainage Number 1, for authority for the general manager uh, or his destiny to, to sign the rental agreement subject to House Bill 1295 compliance. Yeah, we already moved the money here. for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion. Aye. I oh, will just one second real quick. Somebody can somebody mute their their mic. There's a lot of background, but 
I, I don't know who it is. So if you could just mute your mics if you're not participating at this point. Sorry, go ahead, Owen. Thank you, sir. Uh, and 5B2, requesting approval to submit a rental agreement as required by vendor docket heavy machinery service for a John Deere 300 G excavator SLF loaner and no cost to Dow County Nation 1 with authority of the general manager de or designee to sign the rental agreement. So that's House Bill 1295. Compliance. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 5C, requesting approval to enter into a 60 month software service agreement with Cosmo Crodo, excuse me, Sachar Inc. to include the workforce ready SAAASHR applications described in the order form, the professional service engagement overview agreement, and rental time clocks to the HD1 membership participation with Omnia Cooperative Contract Number 18221, reference procurement number HD1 2071. So this system will allow us to go uh, fully independent, uh, manage uh, our, our, our personnel, accounting, everything. So any questions, Ms. Calasada vetted this very uh, detailed with our staff. So uh, he may help and answer any questions the board may have on this. What's the cost? Uh, I know we're looking at it at the county. What's the cost for you all? For the drainage district, sir, it's a 10,000 setup fee and 36,000 a year. That's uh, based off of 175 employees, sir, currently. That's very, that's very inexpensive compared to what we're looking at. Okay. Yes, sir. Any questions? Cool. Thank you. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. 6A, request to approve supplement agreement number one to the professional engineering service contract, TAQB 1920423, with Cruz Hogan Consultancy for the project Highway 21 FM 88, 2018 Bonner Project 14, to reflect a revised exhibit D work schedule with an extended termination date of November 30, 2022, sub legal review and compliance house bill 1295. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two, request and approval, supplement agreement number one, work position number one, professional service, con excuse me, professional engineering service contract, ACH 1-19-020-423, Cruz Holden Consultant Inc. for the project Highway 481, FM 88, 2018, Bonner Freedom Project 14, to reflect your vice period of service to end on November 30th, 2022, subject review and compliance house bill 25. Okay. Okay. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 6B, one payment application number one in the amount of 48,530 and three cents from Los Angeles Engineering and, and Management LLC pertaining construction contract number ACD 1-20-040-0908, Green to Quarter Mile Road and Schubach Road, project number two, 2018 bond referendum. I've been in the post engineer. Everything's in order. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Item C, request and approval payment. Application number one in the amount of 151, 473, and 55 cents from Castle Enterprise LLC, pertaining construction contract on ACD 1-0090707, South Lateral Drain. Uh, David Signs from LMG is the engineer. Everything's in order. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. Item D, approval to issue payment on the following items for senior review and compliance. Contract terms and condition, mission letter phase one. Application for payment number four in the amount of $345,282.75 from Science Brothers Construction LLC, pertaining construction contract number cd one 19074 mission letter section one. Project engineer, LNG engineering. Everything's in order. Move for so approval. Move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. 7A, request and approval budget amendment to fund board approved contracts in the fund 134 2019 bond, 2019 bond series in the amount of $5,460,457.85 from the undistributed accounts. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. We don't have anything uh, for executive session today. No, we have we have one item. Oh, Sorry. I apologize. Yes, we did post. I apologize. We did post a consent agenda item. Yes, sir. I apologize. Sir. So we do have. Asking, 
Subchapter D of the of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code. We're going to go into closed session at this time. Can I have a motion? Does that affect? I'll move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. We're going into closed session at 9.56. We're back from closed session. It's 10.08. Mr. Sassin? Uh, uh, right. I don't think we have anything for action, uh, correct, Ivan? We're going to bring it back? That's correct. There's no action on the no action. Yes, closed sir. meeting items. So there's no action on uh, A or B. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. Move for adjournment. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries. Thank you. Have a great week. Thank you. You too. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. I'm ready. Start? Yes, sir. Welcome, everyone, to the Hidalgo County Commissioner Court meeting, December 15, 2020. Um, I'm Eddie Cantu, County Commissioner for Precinct 2. And on March 16, 2020, Governor Greg Abbott granted a request by Texas General, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton to temporarily suspend certain open meeting law requirements to the extent necessary to allow telephonic and video conference meetings in response to COVID-19. In accordance with the law, notice of this meeting of the county commissioner's court has been posted online for at least 72 hours. Although members of this court are not gathered in a central physical location. We do have a quorum in attendance at this meeting by video conference or telephone call. The court is meeting by the use of Zoom software and telephone transmission, which allows two-way communication for members of the public during public comments. This meeting is being broadcast live online. As we would at any in-person meeting, members of the public who have followed the instructions on the meeting notice for registering to speak during the public comment portion will be called at the telephone number they have provided to speak for up to the allotted time. All other meeting procedures will adhere to board adopted procedures to the extent possible. A recording of this meeting is being made and will be available to the public at a later date. We apologize in advance for any unforeseeable difficulties and ask for your patience as we navigate these conditions. The, no the time now is 10, 10 a.m. and I will call this meeting to order and we're gonna start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, Precinct One. Good morning, Eddie Cantu, Precinct 2. Good morning, Ellie Torres, Precinct 4. And we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. And we're honored to have um, U.S. Army. Efrain Solis will recite the Pledge of Allegiance for Commissioner's Court via Zoom. Mr. Solis is an Honor Guard Captain for Sergeant Benito Alanis, VFW Post 7473, Elsa, Texas. Thank you for being here with us. How do I turn him? There you go. You're off mute. Okay. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. There, thank you very much for joining us and thank you for your service. We will now have a prayer by uh, Judge Mancias, Fernando Mancias. Thank you for joining us, Judge. Thank you for inviting me. First of all, a good morning to all of you and good morning to uh, Hidalgo County. I must say this, it's a beautiful day out there. It's a very bad day to be in there, but duty calls. <laughs> so let me ask, uh, I'll sit down. Let me ask, uh, please uh, bow your heads uh, as we pray. Dear Lord, our community is tired. Our country is very weary. We ask you, Lord, for your divine intervention. We pray for those who are sick and those recovering. We pray for those mourning the loss of loved ones to this terrible, terrible disease. We pray for your protection for our health workers and all our first responders. We pray for wisdom for this body and for all other policymakers. We pray for relief for those in, in dire economic straits. But mostly, we've asked that you help us renew our faith, renew our faith in ourselves, in you, and in our, in our faith that we will endure this, this crisis and prevail eventually. 
We ask all these things in your name. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Judge. Have a great day. Thank you for inviting me. I want to continue and, and I want to Thank pray. For Judge. Thank you. I wanted to take this time just to pray for our leader, our judge, Judge Richard Cortez, who is at home. He's doing well, but our doctor's orders, he was asked to, you know, not use his vocal cords. And, and so he's resting at home. I'm sure he's watching. Um, his staff was prepared for this meeting. And so we send you prayers, Judge. I know you're watching at home. We'll take, we'll do this for you. Um, we're at consent agenda. Marlon? Yes, thank you, commissioners. Um, commissioners, with your permission, I would like to take out of order consent agenda item 9D. Move for approval without 9D. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion aye. carries. Commissioners, uh, I, uh, uh, consent agenda item 9D will be taken up for discussion under uh, 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 when purchasing comes up later uh, on the agenda. Okay, Mother, you're getting a little bit of it, but we're all getting on Is that better, Commission? I, I hope so. Okay, yes. we'll take 90. You'll let me know. Yes, sir. Um, number six, County Judge's Office. Uh, uh, Commissioner, we have an uh, open forum. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, back to open forum. Mr. Gutierrez, do we have any participants for open forum? Uh, yes, sir. We have uh, Ramon Montalvo. Okay. Uh, it should be over the phone. Okay. Mr. Montalvo? I believe Mr. Montalvo, if I may interrupt, is here on an item under purchasing if in the event any questions need to be answered. Oh, oh he's here for, oh, he's here on, on, on an action item. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Under purchasing. Under purchasing, yes, and I know which item that is, yes. Okay. Mr. Gutierrez. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we have Ms. Fern McClarity. Ms. Fern McClarity. Good morning, Ms. McClarity. There is a three minute time limit. Uh, I will advise when there was one minute and I will start when you start. Well, we are here again. The public is situated in a high traffic hallway in the courthouse annex where it is difficult to hear and not normal for transparent government. Today you have the, the courtroom with uh, all kinds of noise and tools in there. So we wanted to thank you for that. At any time, uh, any other time, locating the public in a hallway adjacent to a public building ex uh, exit would be considered a violation of the fire code, but not in Hidalgo County. In Hidalgo County, this action is considered part of the citizen participation process, which ensures limited public participation. The intent of locating the public in the hallway is to limit public participation because it may expose the lack of planning in the expenditures of local and federal fund funding. There is a rule, a rush to spend federal money before December 31st, 2020. The COVID virus is both a threat to the community and a, an excuse for limiting public access to the expenditures of public funds. The Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court has been using the COVID excuse since March of this year, but you have not stopped spending one dime almost a year without having to face the public and explain why. For the information of this court, President Trump has succeeded in getting the medical community to pr uh, produce a vaccine with 90% success rate, and it is uh, in the process of being distributed as we speak. There are two more that are coming very shortly. So what are you going to do with the warehouse, the trucks, and the staff that have been hired? We know the answer. The people of Hidalgo County will pay. You remember the ones that this commissioner commission ordered to shelter in place and the businesses that were ordered to limit their sales or close their business altogether? They will pay. That is why the public is in the hallway listening on a small television. One to minute. The action of our elected officials. Today on the agenda, commission is proposing to spend 167 thousand three hundred eighty two dollars and forty cents on a building that we just recently purchased for a million two hundred thousand 
can you tell me why the county did not get an inspection on this? But we're throwing more money. It's, it's COVID money. Uh, and our question today, I see we have raises and we've got uh, all kinds of dollies that we're going to be buying for $444,800. Uh, we don't understand how you can spend so much money so quickly, but you need to hurry. The 31st is coming. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Gutierrez? That's it, sir. Thank you, sir. Moving on to number six, county judge's office, Valde. Yes, sir, item 6A, county judge's office. Uh, I'm on, Valde. I'm yes, sorry. Sir. Good morning, uh, Commissioner uh, Cantu and the rest of the commissioner's court. I come before you for approval of proclamation termination of the local state of disaster res resulting from the recent wind and rain event from July 25th, 2020, which causes a widespread flooding and damage of properties. Number two is authorized for the county judge to sign the, re the required documents. Motion to approve. One and two. Commissioner on mute, Commissioner Fuentes. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion aye. carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Commissioners with the permission, item 7A for the county treasurer's office. I'm gonna ask that we take this up for discussion uh, later down uh, or later uh, in the agenda or in the meeting, I apologize. Awesome, I'm moving on to Haida. Good morning, Commissioner Rosalinda Cantu, uh, presenting for the district attorney's office. Uh, item 8A, we're taking a no action on that item. Item 8B. We're asking for authorization and approval to accept an extension request on fiscal year 2019 uh, grant G19 SS 0002A, Haida grant fund, Haida grant from December 31st, 2020 uh, through June 30th, 2021. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8C. Uh, Fund Haida Fund 1291. We're asking for approval to submit the reprogram request to South Texas Haida from fiscal year 2019 grant funds and related intra departmental transfer. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you, Albert. Thank you very much. Nine county clerk's office. Commissioners, with your permission for the county clerk's office, this is requesting approval of the 2021 official bond and oath for elected official Robert M. Contreras, Justice of the Peace, Precinct 2, Place 1. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. 10, Sheriff's Office. Morning, uh, Commissioner. This is Sergeant Colton back with the Sheriff's Office. Item 10A, uh, Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office, Hidalgo County Constable, Precinct 2. In Hidalgo County Constable Precinct 4, uh, Grant 1284, authorization and approval to accept a budget amendment frag in reference to Operation Stone Garden Fiscal Year 2019 grant. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you, sir. Uh, 11, Constable Precinct 3. Good morning, uh, Commissioners. Chief Deputy Gonzalez with the uh, Idaho County Constable Precinct 3. Today we have discussion, consideration, and approval for the first extension to the interlocal agreement for Idaho County on behalf of the Constable Precinct 3 office and Texas A&M Kingsville on behalf of its police department to commence upon court approval date and will remain in full force and effect as pursuant to section 25 or extended by written agreement uh, of the parties with authority of the county judge as a, a authorized official to sign interlocal agreement and related documents. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion passes. Thank you. Thank you very much. 12 human resources. Good morning, Commissioners. Erica Reina for the Department of Human Resources. 
Item 12A is our standing item. We do not need any action today. Item 12B for Precinct 4 Road and Bridge, approval of the following personnel actions effective the next full pay period. For the record, the date is December 21st, 2020 and for calendar year 2021. The action is the title change for slot 0018 from program manager two to an assistant director of field operations one. This item has no fiscal impact and it is necessary to accurately reflect the employee's job duties. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. 13 Urban County. Good morning, commissioners. P.R. Avila with the Urban County Program. For item 13A, we're requesting approval of a resolution authorizing Hidalgo County Urban County Program to submit a Texas Emergency Rental Assistance Program application to the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. For approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. For item 13B1, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under the Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4 for professional engineering services. And for 13A2, I mean B2, presentation of the scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by commissioner's court of at least three engineering firms from the county's approved pool as graded and evaluated by the city of Wessico the Urban County Program, the Hidalgo County Purchasing Department in connection with the funded through Hidalgo County Urban County Program year 2019 for the Wessica Water and Super Improvements Project funds with uh, rank with um, it's construction at 92.67% uh, with S&B infrastructure at 90 <laughs> and half an associate at 88.34%. Motion to approve 13B, one and two, and ranking as presented. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion passes. And for item 13B3, authority to negotiate a professional engineering service contract with the number one ranked firm of Cruz Hogan Consultants for the provision of engineering services for an urban county project, uh, urban county program year uh, 2019 Wessico Water and Sewer Improvement Projects. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Passes. And for 13C, subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, the Urban County Program is requesting approval of a best and final negotiated contract for professional engineering services with Castley Investments, LLC, DBA, ESJ group in the amount of $22,858 utilizing CDBG fiscal year 2020 Ed Couch Street improvements funding and approval of work authorization number one. For approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, PR. 14 Health and Human Services Department. Good morning, Commissioners. Eddie Olivares, Hidalgo County Health and Human Services. We have a couple of items today. Item 14A is requesting approval of certification of revenue by the county auditor in the amount of $192,273.95 for the Medicaid Administrative Claiming Program for the quarter of January through March of 2020 and the appropriation of the same. Eddie, is that $192,000 or $191,000? I apologize. $191,273.95. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. The next item I want to preface with we have not received the final instructions from the state on this project, on this uh, drawdown. We're waiting for those instructions as we always work with the state on, on dealing with the local pro provider participation fund. This is from hospital funding that is collected and then uh, it is processed through the state for the local. Uh, provider participation funds. So with that in mind, I'd like to read this op, uh, this item. A, discussion and consideration and approval to draw down funds for demonstration year nine, round two of dish rep payment intergovernmental transfer or IGT in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission instructions, which will be in later this week from the local provider participation fund, the LPPF 
with a tentative transfer date of 1521 and a settlement date of 16-21. We're wanting to take action because of the holidays that are coming up, sir. Traditionally, this always happens around Christmas and New Year's, and we've always had to call emergency meetings. Uh, we're kind of trying to get ahead of the curve on this one, sir. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion passes. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, item uh, 8B is approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor from LPPF in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission's final instructions that are pending later this week. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion passes. And the item C is approval of appropriation of the funds for the LPPF in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission final instructions. We're working with the county auditor's office and the county budget office to make sure all of it is synchronized and in place sir, for to be ready for the appropriate drawdown. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. 15 Community Service Agency. Uh, yes, Commissioners Jaime Longoria. Good morning, Commissioners Jaime Longoria with the Idaho County Community Service Agency. Item 15A is discussion, consideration, and possible action to accept the recommendation of the Community Service Agency Advisory Board regarding the approval to amend the program year 2021 Comprehensive Energy Assistance Program Service Delivery Plan to allow for maximum allocations per household. Just a little bit of brief background, Commissioners. Um, our our LIHEAP program, better known as CAP, Comprehensive Energy Assistance Program, is a program where we're allowed to help families pay their utility bills. Uh, generally, our advisory board, because of the number of families that uh, that require assistance or that are applying for assistance uh, in Hidalgo County, they have limited uh, the number of payments uh, uh, that uh, the number of payments that, that residents can actually receive the benefit level. Uh, generally, uh, we had we had put in there a maximum of four payments to uh, to non vulnerable uh, non vulnerable families and five payments to vulnerable families. Uh, what the state has allowed uh, recently, uh, as recently as last year, is they've imposed a, a maximum dollar amount of uh, for benefits. And I'm going to read these for the purpose of the record uh, for fat for households with an income of zero to 50 percent of federal poverty. They're allowing sixteen hundred dollar maximum uh, benefit level. For households with an income of 51 to 75 percent of the federal poverty level, they're allowing $1,500 per household. And for for households of 76 percent to 150 percent of the federal poverty level, they're allowing $1,400 maximum uh, benefit level. So, uh, in in their wisdom, our advisory board has chosen to abandon the limiting the number of payments uh, and going to this model that the state has in in uh, Title 10, Part 1, Chapter 6, Subchapter C, Rule 6.309 of the Texas Administrative Code that allows us to set just maximum uh, benefit levels. So uh, once again, we've gone from the model of limiting the number of payments to now just saying there's a dollar amount that uh, each household can receive um, and, and they chose to go that route. Now I wanna, there, there, is, uh, there is something specific in the TAC that says for vulnerable households, uh, family members, uh, people that have somebody in the family who is uh, either disabled, elderly, or children under the age of six, there will be no limit on the number of payments throughout the program year. So theoretically, somebody that comes in in January and, and stays below their dollar amount threshold could receive assistance uh, every month of the year, uh, all the way through December. Now for families that have somebody uh, that don't have anybody who's vulnerable, everybody else, uh, they do set a limit of the number of payments and that would be six maximum payments. Uh, so we're going to uh, uh, go ahead and ascribe to that uh, as per the advisory board's uh, recommendation. Uh, the other, uh, the other uh, thing that really weighed heavily on the advisory board's mind was, was the fact that uh, families uh, we anticipate for the next six months, families are really gonna be struggling and they're really gonna need the, the maximum benefits that they can receive uh, uh, as they as they go through the the harder part of this pandemic, uh, as we've seen previously, so with that recommendation in mind, um, you know I'd like to put that out there is uh, we'd we'd like you all to to vote on on the recommendation of the advisory board to ascribe to this this program model. Certainly, I'll entertain any questions. 
I'd like to make a motion to approve the recommendation of the advisory board. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion passes. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you, Hamid. Thank you, Mr. Longoria. Thank you. Uh, 16, Precinct 2, approval of an order authorizing Hidalgo County to enter into an advanced funding agreement, amendment number one, with the Texas Department of Transportation for the Nolana Loop Road Project from FM 1426 to FM 88, with authority for the county judge to sign the order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. To <laughs> Two, approval of advanced funding agreement, amendment number one between Hidalgo County and Texas Department of Transportation for the Nolana Loop Road Project from FM 1426 to FM 88 with authority for the county judge to docu-sign required documentation. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion passes. Hey, just a quick note, Eddie. Thank you for your leadership on that project. We look forward to working with you guys over in Precinct 2 to, you know, create more mobility between, you know, all, all of our communities, but from Westaco all the way to McAllen. I think it's a great project. So thanks for your leadership on that. Appreciate your help. Thank you, Commissioner. 17, Budget and Management. Good morning, Commissioner. Sergio Cruz, Department of Budget and Management. Item 17A is approval of salary schedule changes as listed on the agenda in accordance with the Hidalgo County Classification and Compensation Pay Plan effective December 7th, 2020 and uh, for calendar year 2021. So moved. Second. And for the record that my employees already getting paid that amount, it's not a raise. It's a lateral. That's correct, that's just a lateral transfer commission. We have a motion and a second, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Item 17B um, <clears throat> is approval of the follow following change in funding source as listed on the agenda, effective uh, December 21st, 2020, and for fiscal year 2021. We recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, item 17C is authorization to submit the economically disadvantaged county program application and affidavit for the FM 1925. Road project from FM 907 to Sharp Road, CSJ number 1803020035, with authority for the county judge to sign all required documentation. We recommend motion. Approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And finally, item 17D, discussion, consideration, and action to approve the ratification of necessary CARES Act relief fund expenditures as listed on Exhibit A, totaling 44,884 cents. Uh, to cover costs not accounted for in the current budget and cannot be lawfully funded by line item, allotment, or allocation in connection with the ongoing COVID-19 public health emergency. The court having reviewed the agenda item briefing herein finds that such expenditures are reasonable and necessary for the intended use. We do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. 18 purchasing. Good morning, commissioners. Morning. I'm going to take up the um, consent agenda item that was going to be taken up on regular, and that's item 9A. I mean, 9D. I apologize. That would be agenda item number 78701. A, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code, section 262-024-A7, a proprietary software. May I have action? So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B would be requesting approval of the agreement for, if applicable, for online research services with LexisNexis, including but not limited to the following Hidalgo County Departments, Law Library, effective 1121, and subject to compliance with 1295, which has been met. Could I have action, please? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, going on now to the regular agenda, 18A1 recommendation by project architect HDR to award contract for the request for bids titled procurement and installation of signage and other items for the new Hidalgo County Courthouse, project number 504, 
to the responsible vendor, Graph Tech Incorporated, uh, submitting the best qualified bid, meeting all specifications and requirements as set forth in the approved commissioner's court packet in the amount of $293,696, subject to submission of compliant payment and performance bonds with review and approval by Idaho County DA civil section prior to execution by Idaho County. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion passes. Item 2A is presentation of the scoring grid from the designated evaluation committee for the purpose of commissioner's court to rank responses received for the request for pro uh, proposals number 400 actuarial consulting services for GASB 74 and 75. We had 11 packets requested, three responses received. Gallagher with a score of 388, Rudd and Wisdom at 366, Foster and Foster at 361. Does the court wish to rank them in the order of their scores? Motion to approve and rank is scored. Miss, you're on mute. If you're Sorry, I was split screen. Sorry. So, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is authority for purchasing department to commence negotiations for a letter of engagement, including best and final offer with the number one ranked firm of Gallagher for actuarial consulting service. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is for the 370th State District Court, presentation of the sole vendor, Fasaldu and Associates, submitting the lowest and best bid for a proposal for the pur purpose of award and approval of contract for the request for seal proposals titled Turnkey Online Credit Recovery GED Life Coaching and Tutoring Services through project number 667, subject to compliance with all federal and state requirements. I need approval. Or action. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 18A4. A is requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under uh, pursuant to Texas Local Government Code 262-024A7C, an item that can only be obtained from only one source. We are doing this on behalf of the Dow County Urban County Program. I need action. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item five. I mean, pardon me. Item B. Approval of the sole source declaration for Metro Fire Apparatus Specialties for fire rescue equipment and related services for Hidalgo County elected elected offices, departments, programs, and other agencies for all fun funding sources. I need uh, action, please. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item uh, B, executive office. B1A, presentation of the scoring grid as attached for as attached for the purposes of ranking by commissioner's court of the responses received and evaluated in connection with the request for proposals number th 530 for property and casualty insurance policies, including third party administration. And this is solely for the boiler machinery in order to award and approve premiums. Uh, Montalvo and McGriff were both scored by their scores. They are deemed qualified. Montalvo receives 363 and McGriff, Seibels and Williams receive 349. Going on to, does the court wish to uh, accept those scores? So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 It carries. Item B, recommendation to accept premium summary award and top rank proposal received from Montalvo Insurance for Hidalgo County's property and casualty insurance policies, including the third party administration. But we are awarding solely for boiler and machinery with authority to purchase said policies and services from Liberty Insurance for $10,166.20. And that is for boiler and machinery only line. Approval. Second. Um, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
Miss Marty, commit Miss Marty. Miss Marty. Yes, sir. Um, just for my, uh, out of an abundance of caution on my end, uh, did did you take action on 18A5 tropical text? Missed it. Oh no, I did miss it. I apologize. Yes, please. Let me go back to 18A5, requesting approval of interlocal agreement between Hidalgo County and Tropical Texas Behavioral Health for the provision of screening assessment and psychiatric evaluations for inmates. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Garrett. Uh, going on to item B1C, recommendation, recommending that commissioner's court approve to waive the technicality pursuant to legal notices on the RFP number 530, property and casualty insurance policies, including third party administration services, summary and accept medical malpractice line coverage secured by Montalvo insurance received after the acceptance date as it is in the best interest of Hidalgo County to do so. I recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. And with that, the award would go to Evanston Insurance and we are recommending the extended reporting only of three years. I have uh, consulted with uh, budget on this one, and I believe the three year option is our best way to go. So could that be part of the record, please? And the action. Do we need a new motion? Had we already approved this? No. We had, already, we had just voted yes, on it. We already approved it. All I'm making clear for the for the uh, record is that it would be the extended reporting only for three years because there's three options: one, two, and three. So with so I'm recommending three years. Uh, okay, so counselor, I'm actually uh, recommending that the most ended to reflect yes. what Miss Marty just stated. That's correct. Okay, so commissioner. Oh. I'll make a motion to um, approve with the recommended uh, three year. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Going on to item D review, recommendation, and action by Dallas County Commissioner's Court to accept the sole response received from Montalvo Insurance. Or Hidalgo County property and casualty insurance policies, including third party administration, as listed in the summary of submission received and attached. Included in that attachment, and before you take action, there are two options that need to be selected. One of them, one of them is under uh, is the cyber, it's the cyber liability options. There's option one, two, three, and four. I am recommending that the court consider option three, which is bent from benchmark insurance company. It has a limit of 5 million and a deductible of 10,000 for $36,885. Everything else I'm recommending as listed on the backup for Montalvo. Okay. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. Going on to the next item. Uh, review, recommendation and action by Dow County Commission's Court to accept the sole response received from McGriff, Seibels and Williams for RFP number 530 uh, for Dow County's property and casualty policies, including third party administration as listed on the summary of submissions received and attached. So that would be three lines of coverage Property, Inland Marine, and Terrorism, total amount one million thirty nine thousand six hundred and fifteen. Marty, is there a reason why we just got one bid? Uh, both both the vendors, those are the lines that they were able to obtain coverage on. Uh, and it and uh, it's been historic for the last uh, two terms that each uh, vendor, the only one that was common to both of them was the, um, was, let me, let me double check, was the um, boiler. 
the no the uh, boiler and machinery however mm -hmm. on the boiler and machinery we have a much better value under the montalvo it would have been four lines of coverage with mcgriff but mcgriff's uh deductible is much lower and uh, i think the value is better with montalvo but this has been historic okay all right so move second all in favor say aye aye aye, aye. motion carries uh, Okay, uh, F is approval to proceed to complete applications as required by vendors, including authority for the judge, court member, or commissioner's court, uh, on commissioner's court or executive officer to sign any applicable documentation for said policies and services. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And G is acceptance and approval of the schedules of premiums and fees as approved by Commission of Court and attached here to for 21 for 2021 to 2022 coverage summary for property and casualty insurance policies awarded effective January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021, with authority to purchase and issue payments. Motion to so, approve. I'll second, but I have a question, Marty. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you have here in the description 2021 to 2022, but it only has coverage to through 2021. Well, they mean they mean there's options to renew. Oh, if so it's one. with options. Okay, right. gotcha. Okay, thank you. So we have a motion yes. in a second, right? All in favor yes. say aye. 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 aye, motion. Motion carries. Okay, going on to item 18. C under uh, county judge's office, it's for the Office of Emergency Management. A discussion, consideration, and action to approve a necessary CARES Act relief fund expenditure to accounted for in the current budget and cannot be lawfully funded by line item allotment or allocation for the Hidalgo County, uh, the Hidalgo County Office of Emergency Management to purchase turnkey audiovisual services, hardware, accessories, installation, and training for Annex uh, 4 which will serve as the emergency operations, uh, emergency management operations call centers in order to assist with the county's functions related to public health measures addressing the ongoing COVID-19 public health emergency. The court having reviewed the agenda item briefing here and finds that such expenditure is reasonable and necessary for the intended use. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is exemption for compet from competitive bidding requirements pursuant to Texas Local Government Code 262-024-81, an item that must be purchased in case of public calamity if it is necessary to make the purchase promptly to relieve the necessity for, of the citizens, and two, an item necessary to preserve and protect the public health and safety of the citizens. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C is requesting approval for, for the purchase of turnkey audiovisual services as mentioned in item B. And I'm asking the court to uh, consider the purchase to be the lowest and best value quote received after a complete review with uh, the Department of, of Emergency Management purchasing an IT. We just received the last quote yesterday. We do have a grid. There are a lot of items to consider but I'm asking the court to allow that we uh, purchase from the best uh, valued quote. And then uh, next week, I would for uh, discussion and reporting purposes, give you the name of who was awarded so that we can uh, move on and get this done by the 30th. So we're just taking action to approve the that, but you'll bring back the rankings on the best value? Well, it's going to be the best value. We will inform the court next week who we decided was the best value because of the time constraint. Uh, it's it's to do that. Pre approve and authorize, right? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. You, you keep us posted. That's okay on that. with the court. Uh, there's just no attachment in the agenda. So if you could share that with us when you find We certainly it. will. And no, we will send you the decision and, and what it was based on. I'm working with IT and OEM on this. Thank you. Yes. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
Item two is requesting two uh, a requesting approval to rescind action taken by Commissioner's Court on Tuesday, October twenty seventh. Agenda item seven seven nine sixty seven for the purchase of the following equipment as posted on the agenda. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is discussion consideration and action to approve a necessary CARES Act relief and expenditure to cover costs not accounted for in the current budget and cannot be lawfully funded by line item allotment or allocation for the purchase of two ADA mobile restaurants in order to assist frontline workers during the COVID pandemic by providing laboratories and off-grid uh, locations in order to assist public health expenses at addressing the ongoing COVID public health emergency. The court having reviewed the agenda item briefing attached here and finds that such expenditure is reasonable and necessary for its intended use. Motion to approve. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C is requesting exemptions from competitive bidding requirements pursuant to Texas Local Government Code 262024A1 and 2 as posted on the agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D is requesting authority to purchase two ADA plus four portable restroom trailers from ready to go restroom trailer sales LLC with a cost not to exceed $59,895 per unit with a commitment and acknowledgement by the vendor of delivery before 12-30-20. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. Item E1, precinct, uh, pardon me, D1, precinct one, presentation of the sole bid received and meeting all specifications for the purpose of award and approval of contract to a Rio Grande hauling on the proposed, on the project titled hauling services for all road materials. And this is a subject to compliance with the 1295, which has been met. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. E for precinct three, one pursuant to Dallas County's adopted and current existing elected officials expenditure action on a request to purchase type D hot mix asphalt from current awarded vendor Valley Caliche products in the amount of 44,140 through submitted requisition 255301. <clears throat> Can I get a motion? A motion. Can I, second, all in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion carries. F1 precinct four, requesting approval of an, the agreement between Del County and Go ERO International LLC, DBA ERO, for the provision of on-call architect services for projects located within the precinct. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion carries. Item two is requesting approval of the agreement between Dell County and Lunel Delta Junior and Associates LLC for the provision of on-call appraisal services for projects located within the precinct. Motion to approve. Second. All in, all in favor aye. say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three is requesting approval of the agreement between Dell County and Ted Infrastructure Group for the provision of on-call engineering services for Road and Bridge, CIP, and other and other sources for projects located within the precinct. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. Item four is requesting approval of agreement between Dell County and SBI Engineering LLC for the provision of all on-call construction management services for projects within the precinct. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. Item five is requesting approval and agreement between Dow County and LNG Consulting Engineers Incorporated, GBA, SLNG Engineering for the provision of on-call engineering services for Road and Bridge, DIP, and other services for the projects within the precinct. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item six is requesting approval of supplemental agreement two for contract number 048 between Dow County and LNG for FM 1925, 1500 feet west of FM 2220, which is where road to 10th street to extend the termination date of said agreement for an additional two years. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Motion carries. G1 for Health and Human Services. A. Acceptance and approval of an amendment one to contract number 183 with names for the engineering services or the biotesting lab subject to receipt of uh, the uh, exhibit D. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item B is approval of application for payment number one in the amount of $12,010 to Sames Incorporated for engineering services for the testing biosafety lab facility as certified by the construction manager of HCC. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two is acceptance and approval of the final negotiated contract with Network Sciences being qualified by Commission of Court on December 1st for RFP number 520, and this is for computer software for Health and Human Services Department, including, it includes the best and final offer. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For H1 facilities management requesting approval of revised proposal originally approved on November 24th with an increase of $19,866.15 to award its contract to HERCON due to unforeseen damage and repair to some roof panels and expanding deck from previous dimensions for structural engineering drawings for a new project total of $167,382.40 subject to the price verification under the RSE. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The Sheriff's Office, uh, I1A, requesting approval of the First Amendment to Service Contract uh, number 237 to reflect a necessary fee for fees rendered outside of Hidalgo County to incarcerated inmates for Calera Incorporated DBA Rio Grande Valley Mobile X ray. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is approval to exercise the county's option to utilize the one year renewal term available under radiological diagnostic and related mobile services for inmates uh, with Calera, DBA, Rio Grande Valley mobile x-ray. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion carries. Uh, there will be on item two, uh, no action taken at this point. Item three for the Sheriff's Office, 3A, approval to enter into three-year master service agreement with Update Wholesale Supply, DBA Bright Computers for the provision of certain services as set forth with therein commencing upon approval by commission, by, uh, by the court and the county judge to execute it through requisition 42579. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. aye. motion carries. Item B, requesting authority to purchase 150 body cameras and its peripherals through our membership and participation through the DIR TSO contract, vendor update wholesale supply through Bright Computers through requisition 5251-425169. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. That is all I have. Judge Commissioner, you. item 19, uh, 19A, 1 and 2, there's no action this week. Item 19B, we have uh, Mr. Michael Cano on the Zoom meeting. It's requesting approval of a resolution authorizing the resale of the properties. Uh, these are non-homestead for failure to pay ad valorem taxes due to county. Thank you, Mr. Guetta. Uh, just for the record, Michael Cano, the Linebarger. As Mr. Guetta stated, uh, we're requesting uh, authorization to resell the 22 properties that were previously put up for sale, but that did not sell at a tax sale. And just to make the commission aware, these are all either non-homestead abandoned properties and or empty lots. Uh, there was a packet that was submitted that has detailed uh, photos of all these properties. And not only would it generate revenue for the county, but it would help all the local communities uh, clean up these properties as well. Move for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Aye. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Cannon. Thank you, Commissioners. Commissioners, item 19C is discussion, consideration, and action regarding interlocal cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County and Hidalgo County Granite District and one for materials. Move for approval. 
Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Aye. Commissioner's item, uh, item 20, uh, I would like to take after closed session. Are we ready for closed session? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, as per chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, sections 551, 071, 072, 074, and 551087, we're going back to closed session. It's uh, now 11.03. Can I get a motion to that effect? So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We'll be back. Thank you. We're back from closed session. It's 12.36. Valde. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, under open session, uh, uh, since we're out of closed session, I'd like to go back to item uh, agenda item 7A, for the record, there is no action to be taken this week. Agenda item 7A, there is no action to be taken. So judge commissioner or commissioners, uh, uh, for the record, uh, item 22A, there is no action to be taken. And 22B, there is no action to be taken. So uh, item uh, open session, item 23A, Real estate acquisition appropriation for same. There's no action to be taken this week. Item 23B, pending and or potential litigation. There is no action to be taken. 23C, discussion, consideration of possible action regarding response to public health emergency. Commissioners, I will refer back uh, momentarily uh, to uh, agenda item 20, uh, agenda item 20. Item 23D under open session, uh, cause number zero, uh, C0556-20-I. Harlan Dottie versus the county uh, will proceed as directed. Item 23E, uh, consultation with legal counsel regarding Raquel de Alba et al versus Hidalgo County, uh, Hidalgo County Greenwich District et al, uh, pending in the 398th District Court of Hidalgo County. There is no action to be taken this week. Item 23F, claim of Daniel Serna and claim of Gustavo Valderas. Commissioners, uh, uh, I'd like to disclose for the record that this, these two claims will be assigned to Ms. Josephine Ramirez's office for, uh, for handling. We could put that on the record through a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Commissioners, if I may, if I could go back to item 20, <clears throat> discussion, consideration, action, and possible action regarding a county response to disaster health emergency, one CARES Act funds, there's no action. Item 20B, measures necessary to pre preserve public health and safety. There's no action to be taken uh, this week. And item 20C, direction regarding county government operations, including but not limited to essential functions. Commissioners, as we have been for quite some time, we are continuing to follow CDC recommended guidelines, social distancing, facial covering, as we have stated week in and week out. The health and safety of our residents while doing business with the County of Hidalgo is first and foremost, uh, as well as our employees of the County of Hidalgo. With that being said, uh, commissioners, uh, there is uh, no need to go back to close, so there's no action under item 24 and no action under item 25. Um, prior to adjournment, we do have commissioners court next week. Commissioners, we have adjournment. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. aye. motion carries. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you. Be safe, Thank everyone. Bye-bye.